Okay, now at this time that I've got my steel plate designed, I need to go ahead and insert it into my assembly for my bookends. So I come up to window and go to the pull down where it says bookend assembly. So I'll bring that up. This time I'm going to make sure I saved my document, make sure it's good and saved. Okay, now I'll come over to make sure I'm on my assembly tab and I'll do an insert component. I'll grab the steel base plate sketch and insert that somewhere over here for now and we'll take and accept that. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to select the bottom of this plate here okay and my pop-up comes up and we'll make sure we accept that and then we'll select the top of the base plate here and we will accept that. Okay so now it's actually made it on top of that. But what we need to do now is we need to make sure that this one little edge right here is mated and that pop-up comes up here, select mate, scroll back out, and we'll select that face right there. So now it's made of that face, but one problem exists is we've got to flip that mate around. So we'll go ahead and select that and flip it around. So we'll accept that mate. And then now there's a small little edge off this ogie right there. We'll click it. We'll hit the, uh, you can also hit the edge and do an edge to edge mate, but we're going to go ahead and just do that one face. Well, actually, let's do that. Let's do an edge to edge mate. So we'll go, we'll click that edge, pops up the mate, uh, pop up, select that. Then we'll scroll out and we'll grab that edge there, and it's going to take it all the way over to this edge. So it's an edge to edge mate. But actually, what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to give it a distance. So right now, it's set to 8.8 .8 inches. That's kind of big. We're going 0.25 of an inch. Hit enter, and there it is. So accept that. And we'll go ahead and do an F, which is zoom to fit. And that looks pretty good. Let's go look at the top of it. So we just rotate that over. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. So now let's do something real quick. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, edge there so we make sure we got equidistance on both sides. Looks like we do. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and look at, say, the front here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Now we're going to design another plate that's going to mount right on top of this the same as we did with this last one. The difference being is that we're going to uh, have that edge open here at an angle facing uh, mating to the actual face of the vertical part. So that's going to leave like a, an angular slot right here that's going to allow us to drop our bead in here when we do our welding. Which That's kind of important. It's going to do a little grinding to flatten that out and we're going to have a nice beautiful uh, square edge joined on this side which is the visual side and your edge for what you're welded on is going to be the side hidden by this this one board right there okay let's go ahead and hit the F command and do a fit let's go ahead and do a save oh wait we need to put another part in let's do that first here so we're going to insert that other part steel base plate we're going to put that in and this is going to be pretty easy we'll go ahead and grab that face hit the make command and we'll grab that face put it on there it looks good Again, just like we did before, we'll scroll up, grab that one face, hit the make command there, scroll out, use our center wheel, we'll push it down on our center wheel on our mouse and we'll rotate our model around. Grab that face, move it over, looks good, check that off. Come up and grab this uh, face right here and we're going to go ahead and make that to this face right there. All right, so we got that in. We set a distance on that to 0.25. Now, what's going to happen on this is it's going to hang over like that. That's all right. What we'll do is we'll uh, flip that dimension over, and it'll move it over to 0.25. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and check that off. Uh, we'll hit the F command to do a fit on it. All right. Yeah, okay, good. So now we got both steel base plates in there. It looks really good. And let's do one thing real quick here and looks at the bottom. We'll check our wireframe. And we'll check our wireframe right here. And sure enough, our holes will not intersect the uh, pilot holes that we put in there. That's great. Okay, flip that guy back around. Go back to shaded wireframe. Hit the F command. Do a control 7, which brings us back to isometric. Save our file. And we're going to move on and design the vertical steel plate.